and proud moment for us. We have been part of several inaugurations and several such function, but this one is particularly special because we are inaugurating the Raj Reddy Center for Technology and Society. Uh, Professor Raj Reddy has been uh, a guiding force behind IIIT in multiple ways. In fact, in 1998 when the institution started, it could take, it could undertake a path of, you know, strong research combining with undergraduate, pro strong undergraduate program only based on the strength of the firm hands and creative uh, mind that he provided. And that's what made us uh, start on this journey. And we have come uh, 23 years later, we have made some mark, we have recognized quite well in the country and the world. And that's a uh, lot to do with Professor Raj Reddy. In 2018, Soon after he turned 80, we had a function here and we celebrated his uh, 80th birthday and uh, we were thinking how to honor someone like Raj Reddy, uh, who is a you know, true karma yogi. So you can only honor a karma yogi by undertaking more karma that he would have done himself. With Lend our hands and brains to the karma that he would like to do. So. The twin, we should combine his twin passions and create something that combines his twin passion, both technology and society. And that's the origin of this center, uh, the, the center on center for technology and society. And work started about a year ago, as Ramesh already said. And we hope this uh, RCTS uh, will become, will develop into a global hub of activities where technology is used in service of the society. We want it to be a place where global experts come and spend a week or a day or a year or their lifetimes working on, on these themes. And we want this the center to be a, a, a collection of not just technology people, but domain experts, healthcare experts, education experts, social scientists, maybe philosophers, developers, designers, so that what we do what we build are relevant and useful directly to the to the intended recipients. I've known Raj uh, very, very uh, closely. I've seen Raj very, very closely over the last few years. He's always been an inspiration. He's always been a dear friend of the state of Telangana. And, uh, you know, I'm delighted that uh, Triple IT has, uh, uh, you know, thought of this lovely initiative uh, to set up a Raj Reddy Center for Technology and Society. Because uh, one of the themes that our Honorable Chief Minister constantly reinforces is about how technology should be leveraged for societal impact. I'm delighted that this center would focus on leveraging technology for uh, improving healthcare, improving education among the underprivileged. And I was also told that this would be an applied research focused uh, institution, which would also ensure that domain experts from various uh, uh, spheres of life would uh, be straddling technology and uh, the societal uh, good. So my congratulations to PJN and the entire team at uh, IIIT. Technology and society has been kind of a key theme in my life for a long time. I have I've been in you know, the key for the NGOs and for every one of us. We all can do little experiments at Triple IT. We can do some experiments, but we have to demonstrate these experiments actually work in field in the field. Then we have to add three more requirements. Whatever solution we come up with must be scalable. That means it must go from pilot stage of 100 people or 1,000 people to a million people to 100 million people to everyone. And we have to think through that right at the beginning. Scalable, sustainable. The question is, you know, even if you demonstrate it, is it going to be continued? Or will they stop after, after a while? And scalable, sustainable requires somebody, I think, uh, uh, with a budget and a planning and so on, to, so that the same is true with respect to education. In fact, there was a very interesting discussion this, today. Uh, people get bored. You know, basically, the nature of our education, the way we deal with uh, everybody wanting to do something, is you say, well, we are going to look at your marks rank. Based on your rank, we are going to admit you. And then when we admit you, we will tell you what you can, what major you can do. It's not whether I'm interested in it or not. It's just 
whatever it is that the system permits. It's no wonder most people are bored. It's no wonder if you kind of do take all the IIT students that graduate, these are the cream of the crop, the top 0.1% or something. The, the, they, they graduate and they never practice what they learned. Most of them never practice. And many of the advanced topics of thermodynamics and, and nuclear fusion or whatever they might have learned are, are kind of completely forgotten. And they're in some IT company somewhere and doing something. And, uh, and also, not only that, we are training what we call unimodal children. You know, basically, uh, if you tell them anything about words like opera, you know, I personally, when I went abroad, I had no clue what opera was. <laughs> and uh, there were so many other things, you know, we, I learned, I'm still learning uh, that I had no clue. But given my background, you know, I came from a little village. Uh, it's, it's still there, 500 people. And, uh, and I went to local school and uh, Jalla Parish's school and so on. And I escaped as a black sheep but, uh, from Loyola College of Engineering. But otherwise, it was just a matter of luck of being in the right place at the right time. And um, so I had no, no preparation to be in this greater world with all, so many uh, 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 things to learn. And our education system does not do it. And uh, the same is true with respect to we have a serious problem with the language divide in the country and the literacy divide in the country. You know, if you take a, a random person from Tamil Nadu and put them in UP, they can't even talk to each other. We now have technology. If I have a smartphone in my pocket and you have a smartphone in your pocket, you can sit across each other and have a normal conversation where I speak in Tamil and you speak in Hindi and we can both understand and immediately understand. And in fact, I was very delighted to see uh, one of Ajay Sahani's colleagues actually demonstrated this morning that technology is almost there, what we call speech-to-speech -speech translation. And in order to do that, what has to happen is your smartphone has to listen to what you're speaking and it has to recognize the speech and then it has to you know, translate it you know, into some in um, in between intermediate language and transfer that to your phone by Bluetooth. And your phone then will take that and translate it into Hindi and from Hindi kind of do a text-to-speech synthesis to produce the speech. So it's not, it's, it's all easily explainable, but each of the technologies that are involved have taken 50, 60 years. We are not yet there, quite there, but we'll be there. The literacy divide is equally challenging because uh, in India, 40% of the people are illiterate or semi-literate. They cannot read, or if I gave them a newspaper article where they might be able to read each letter and say, read this paragraph and tell me what it says, they can't. They cannot understand. And so there are serious problems with literacy and so what's the answer? And of course, we can say yeah, everybody get, must become literate. But the, uh, the reality is these 40% of the people are as bright and as smart as you and I are. It's just that they never got the right training or right opportunity. And I believe going forward, they can become first-class citizens. Why? Because given the um, <clears throat> opportunity they'll have, with um, with with the uh, with the with the speech to speech, they'll be able to speak to the computer and have a dialogue and the, the, or speak to another person. All of that will become possible. So you don't have to know how to read or write. You can just be able to speak, and that will give them opportunities to benefit from the advances in technology, like online shopping, banking. Uh, so talking to your doctor or talking you know, or listening to your lectures, education, and uh, even things like online voting become enabled as a result of that. So I'm hopeful the center will have 
a huge impact. I will be around for a little while, <laughs> but I don't know, <laughs> independent of me, but I think it will be a fantastic opportunity to help the society. Thank you. It is a tremendous honor for my family and I to have an opportunity to celebrate Professor Raj Reddy's life and his work. Um, um, everybody here already knows of his pioneering work uh, in computer science, in artificial intelligence, in speech, among various other things. Um, uh, I also, he played a very vital role in helping build and shape Carnegie Mellon as an institution. Um, uh, also his contributions to India to helping build, uh, you know, uh, computing infrastructure, uh, as well as education in India. Uh, there are so many extraordinary highlights of his life and his career. Um, and so we, uh, it's only fitting um, that uh, we, you know, we honor him by establishing a chair, celebrating India's most important uh, computer scientist at uh, India's most important computing schools. And so we are delighted to be able to uh, help Triple IT Hyderabad uh, established the Professor Raj Reddy uh, Chair um, um, of Computer Science. Um, thank you to Triple IT Hyderabad, to PJN, and to Professor Loganathan for working with us um, on this initiative and for helping it come to life. A great milestone day when uh, the center is actually getting launched. And as uh, other speakers mentioned, this is a very befitting way of celebrating the life and works of. Professor Raj Reddy, who has done so much, not just in the US, in the world of computing, but also back home. We have come across so many people of Indian origin who have made uh, names for themselves, who are major success stories elsewhere. But very few of them even think of where they have actually began, what their roots are, what kind of requirements still persist there. And uh, in that way, Whatever Professor Raj Reddy has been doing for years altogether is uh, really exemplary. So very befitting that the center is starting here today. It's a great pleasure for me. It's a delight for me to be a part of this program. So it's, it's very important that we look at real problems. We look at problems which, have, uh, which are at scale. We apply whatever technology we have <clears throat> to solve these problems, this center to uh, engage in. Fortunately for us. Informatic solutions, data leveraged solutions for basically addressing some of the fundamental bottom of pyramid issues in health, education and livelihood. So we see that partnering with uh, IIIT Hyderabad is a great opportunity for us to really leverage on some of our on-ground programmatic work and build you know, technology solutions which can help us to accelerate impact. Thank you. Uh, I am privileged to be here today at uh, Rajareddy Raja Reddy Center for Society and Technology. Uh, it has provided a wonderful platform for the public to debate social issues. And uh, I think that's what is missing in society today, where public debates of stakeholders should take place and converse their thoughts for achieving the common uh, for society. And uh, bringing them together in a very uh, professional atmosphere and casual atmosphere and uh, uh, briefly discussing the issues 
and connecting the stakeholders is I think what is the major outcome of uh, the center and round table. Uh, we, we, country needs a center. Raj Reddy center that's going to be inaugurated today and the annual conference is an amazing uh, initiative by IIIT because one of the most important pillars of uh, introducing technology into the education domain has to be fulfilled by academic institutions of high rigor such as IIIT and the amazing work that they do in multiple sectors will definitely reflect through the Raj Reddy Center which is inaugurated today and uh, we expect to benefit enormously from this great initiative of uh, IIIT. A conduit between NGOs and the technology which is the latest technology available um, so that we can make the CSR funds create more impact, it can reach more uh, needy people and also give us the much needed governance. I am really happy to see IIIT taking lead on this. Thank you so much. So uh, society, uh, you know, technology and society uh, have a complex uh, relationship and, and I think that, uh, uh, you know, many times we create technologies uh, that are supposed to uh, benefit people and, uh, but then in the end it does not, those benefits don't reach the common man. And I think the, the, this center is really can provide a bridge which allows to take the, uh, you know, the advancements in technology and bring them to the common person in a more effective way. So I wish the center all the very best and uh, uh, you know, really glad to uh, be part of this conference uh, where the center, for the center. Thank you.